Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can use the Microsoft Unity uh, as an IOC container or for dependency injection. So let's get started. I have written some snippet to kind of demonstrate how this works. So basically uh, here you can see I'm creating a test object and this test object uh, also needs a new city object. And here in the constructor for city, I'm just specifying a name called Austin. So you can construct an object like this and then you can dump it. So if you dump it, it says you print uh, your associates Austin and price is zero. So let me just uh, quickly show you what the, the test object is. The iTest interface basically just has a name property. The test is uh, has a name property as well as the price and the name is the name of the city so I've, and I've added a constructor where it takes in an i city object and takes the name of the city and puts it in the name and when you return the name it returns whatever was in the field plus it uh, prefixes it with core associates that's why you see core associates lost in and the price is uh, essentially left at zero. And if you look at the city, it's uh, ICT interface just has a property called city. And in the constructor, I just take in a name and assign it. So um, basically, uh, I have uh, two interfaces here called iTest and ICT. And they define uh, how the, the two objects are created. So this is all right if you have a simpler uh, program with a few objects. But it does get very complicated if your object uh, depends on many different types of objects and so uh, there is uh, there are some uh, containers that are available to automatically inject the type of object you need and that's where the unity comes in so to demonstrate unity I'm going to uh, show a simple example here so let me show how you can set up uh, unity basically So here to set up Unity, you need a container. So I'm just creating a static variable container and you can create the container by calling new Unity container. And in the container, essentially what you tell the container is to register the types. For example, if I need to create an object uh, of type iTest, this is how you create. So iTest is refers to test, ICT refers to test. And let me just get rid of this thing. We don't need this for now. So if I just this, uh, demonstrate this example, uh, how I would go about using this. So what I first need to do is to call this IOC container so I can register the types, for example. And once the type has been registered, I can try to uh, get that object and the way you get the object is to access the container and call the resolve method and you give it the type you want to resolve here so i want to resolve for example i test because i wanted a test object so if you just try to run this it's going to complain the stripe string cannot be constructed and the reason is because ICT uh, says you want to get a city, but it does need to know how to get the name of the city. So in the parallels of uh, how the Unity constructor works, you can construct an uh, arbitrary list of injection constructors if you like. And here since in the parameters I only have one object, so this is, a, this is an object array and I am specifying the uh, what I needed was just the name and so uh, essentially it constructed it. So you can see the test object was constructed and you can just dump it. So the main uh, takeaway from this is uh, first you need to usually uh, create a container and once you have the container you can register types and here I'm registering types and if uh, you want to inject a particular type of constructor uh, an object you could do this and I'm just showing here for example how to do this and whenever you need an object of this particular i test type you can just say container or resolve i test now you don't really need to worry about 
uh, what I test is dependent on and have to create an object and um, do that. So this is actually uh, quite common practice in many IOC containers including Unity. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you want, you can also take a look at what is called the Unity configuration. And the advantage here is it allows you to do, uh, it has some extensions, so it can uh, do the configuration and many other things and many other advanced, I guess, methods that you may need to use in a, a more complex program. Thank you very much uh, for this short screencast. I'm, and I'm going to put this video on my website under C Sharp uh, Unity. And you have a great day.